Hey, welcome to Slay This by Yarrow. Today, playing the Daily Challenge for September 27th, 2024. The character at the Ironclad and the modifier slash shiny starting deck gets replaced with one of every rare card. Blue cards, blue cards, don't appear in rewards and shops. And Midas, enemies drop 200% more gold, but you can only smith the red sides. Finally, a combination of modifiers that should make this run fairly straightforward. I also see Shadow here with 1440. Shadow, just like me, has had a string of uh, bad runs in a row. Um, but I also see Pelts with 1408 and Yavos 1399. So, yeah, pretty good scores. Uh, this should be fairly straightforward. I'm actually very happy the last few days i have not been doing very well in terms of slate aspire daily runs um so impervious barricade and buffer are great defensive cards seek is something i probably want to upgrade as soon as i can there's also an amplify in the set of blue cards that should help so yeah this and offering exhume feed is the, one of the cards i want to play at every fight as much as i can especially early on to get the uh, stuff modifier out of the way all right, so uh, two lead paths, uh, right? Okay. If I start on the left, I'll get one, two, just two question mark rooms. If I start left, turn right, I'll get one, two. Did I calculate that right? No, if I start in the middle, I'll get a total of four. And if I start in the middle and turn right, I'll get one, two, three. F oh, no, I can't go on the right. Okay, so I have to go left. All right, so I, can't, I have to ignore this elite. Yeah, so the best path is to start in the middle, go right, and then turn left to get an extra... Actually, I guess between this and this point, I can either get... Yeah, I have an extra rest side here. And because of Midas, I think I'll avoid the rest side, so I'll keep going left. So that's a total of four question mark rooms, which is not a bad way to start Act 1 with. All right, and as I mentioned, I have to try to remember to use the feed as much as I can. Uh, because I'm not a huge fan of any of these, let's do Demon Form here. That might help with the strength I'll accumulate over time. Yeah, unfortunately, I did get the feed there, and the Exhum is in my draw pile, or discard pile. That might be a problem. I desperately want to use the feed here. Let's do offering. Emulate and feed is 35. That's not enough. I guess I'll just do buffer machine learning and emulate and hope I can somehow draw back to the feed. That might take a while though. Um, there's a seek. I, I can't. I guess I can seek reboot. Yeah, that's probably the best idea there, right? Yeah, let's seek. Well, actually, reboot alone is not enough. But here, let's do core search, then seek the reboot. Okay. And then actually with the extra strength, if I draw the feed, I should be fine. Uh, let's wait here. I'll accept the 9 damage and really hope I get the feed. Beautiful. Awesome. All right. No troubles here. Uh, Sword Boomerang, Rampage, Turbo. I mean, I don't play Demon Form all the time, so I don't think I'll do Sword Boomerang or Rampage. Turbo might be good. Would help me with extra energy. Yeah, I got the Jawworm. Should I start with the... Yeah, I can do Corruption Impervious. No, um, no damage taking this turn. And then having the Corruption played is always nice. I can't seek the... Um, the feed yet um, but i think what i can do is i can seek the um the bludgeon because where is it yeah because that will deal enough damage so that i can easily kill with the feed once i draw it mm -hmm. well actually not super easily i will need a little bit of damage here uh let me do offering the promise i need 14 damage and the feed alone is not going to be enough mm, that's not good let's do barricade i guess i'll take 10 damage because i can't deal enough damage without accidentally killing and incoming. All right. Reaper is... Well, it doesn't even break through a block, but fine. Let's do Reaper and Machine Learning. Okay. Yes. Okay. At least I got the double tap together with the feed. That's good. All right. Got more max HP there. We got a Power Potion. Oh, who's my final boss? I forgot to check that. Slime boss. Yeah, that should be easy. Sentinel, Bloodletting, or Double Energy. Bloodletting is interesting. I guess with Corruption, Sentinel is fine too. It also gives me block. Let's take these, uh, the... Um, uh, I forgot the name of the card. Sentinel, right? Yeah. Okay. And then here I got my first curse, as well as a bunch of gold, which is nice. And here I got my second curse, injury, as well as the golden idol. Enemies drop 25% more gold. What was the first curse I got? Doubt. Okay, yeah, I have to make sure that if I get curses, they're all unique, because I'm definitely going to go for the handlander modifier. Here I could easily finish this with hyper beam, but I think I'm going to try... Actually, I can heal back up a little bit with the reaper. Let's do that. And then I am going to try to uh, play feed twice here if I can. Mm -hmm. All right, another 12. Unfortunately, I drew the exhume a little too soon. Uh, which means it's going to be really hard to use it again. So let's kill the backliner. And then um, I will try to wait for the feed to kill this one. Actually, I can just seek it, right? Let's seek the feed here. Okay. All right. Uh, here, White Nose, Cool Headed, FTL. Cool Headed is interesting. White Nose is good. That's a tough choice. I think I'll take Cool Headed to have a little bit of block. And then right here, I have to rest back to almost full HP. And then here, I got these sentries. Ooh, this is not a good way to start off. So Rainbow would give me 5 block, but that's not enough. I think what I'm going to do... 
Should I do turbo? Let's do let's do rainbow fission. Then turbo reboot. And really hope I got some way to defend. Okay, Sentinel actually works. Yeah, let's do let's do cool headed first. Uh, impervious is unnecessary. I needed that next turn. If I knew I was gonna draw it, I would not would not have played that cool headed. Okay. Alright, so here I got the hyper beam. That's not gonna be quite enough, but I can do corruption offering. Hope I can get some good um powers. I didn't get them. 26 is not enough. Not power, sorry, I meant skills. Is there a power I can get with the power potion that might uh, allow me to survive? Let me try it, I guess. Buffer. Doesn't help me, though. Actually, I can amplify it. Beautiful. Alright, I got lucky there. So let's amplify the buffer. Allows me to be fully defended. I can also do hyper beam. And you want, let's do juggernaut because that will deal... Actually, does it deal damage? It doesn't because I don't have any uh, focus. Well, that was unnecessary then. Another 9. I have the bludgeon that kills. Can I exhume something? I can exhume the offering if I really wanted to. Yeah, let's exhume the offering because there's a small chance I might draw the feed. Okay, yep, beautiful. Um, and I can kill with the emulate, right? So I can uh, kill you with the feed. And then um, I can even do reaper. Heal back up a little bit and then do emulate. Beautiful. Okay, that was actually really nice. We got Kunai. Every time play, you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one dexterity, a strength potion, and I can't take the exhume. Between Pummel and Evolve... I don't know. Do I have enough status cards for Evolve to be worth it? Not really, right? Yeah, I think... I don't know. I guess I'll take the Pummel. I'm not a big fan of it, but let's take it. And then, yeah, going on the left because that still gives me a question mark room, but lets me skip a rest site. Remove transform upgrade because I have the Midas. I think I'll upgrade something, and I think that something has to be the Seek. Yeah, it is so much more powerful if it's upgraded, especially in this sort of deck. Alright, here I got Paper Frog. Enemy with Vulnerable takes 75% more damage rather than 50. I don't think I have a single source of vulnerability though, right? Alright, yeah. So there is a Seek. I can Seek and Amplify. I can Seek a Turbo. I can kill with the Bludgeon. What should I do here? Lots of options. Um, I think I can do... If I get uh, Offering and Feed, that will be 10, 20, 52. I think that should be enough, right? So if I grab the Offering... Just alphabetical, right? Yeah, offering and then the feed. Then I should be able to do offering bludgeon and then double tap the feed. Beautiful. Okay. All right, here I got the liquid bronze potion, barrage, clash, or compile driver. Definitely not barrage, probably not compile driver, and probably not clash. You know what? I don't need to pick up every card. I'm. It should be very easy to get to 50 cards, so I don't think I have to worry too much about that. Here, let's do offering, and I think I'll do exhume offering too. Let's do turbo, exhume the offering. Play that again. Okay. Well, at least I have a lot of energy. Um, let's do Echo Form. Can't even really double tap anything good. Should I do Reboot? That might not be a bad idea. Let's do Buffer and then Reboot. I'm really hoping for a better hand here. Okay, there's a Seek. Um, what should I Seek? I guess I'll just Seek a good attack card like the... Should I Seek Corruption? I'm not sure if I need to. Uh, I could... No, not Meteor Strike. Fine, let's Seek... Um, I don't know about Barricade. Okay, let's seek Bludgeon at, le at least use some damage. And then anything else I need to seek? Something I don't need. How about Multicast? Okay. All right. I might have considered playing the Berserk there because I have the buffer here anyway. Yeah, that might have been a mistake. Uh, so here, let's do Hyper Beam. Oh, right. Echo Form. It's played twice. Okay, perfect. This one we got the boot. Whenever you deal four or less unlocked attack damage, increase it to five. As well as another Strength Potion. And Ghostly Armor is a great defensive card. Let's grab that. Mm-hmm. Here I got the looter. Um, I guess I'll do core surge and rainbow. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another ten. Um, I I don't know. Should I do offering? I guess I can. Yeah, no reason not to. Um, there's a feed. If I double tap it, it's not going to be enough unless I play the pummel first, right? Yeah. So I can double tap the feed and exhume. Actually, here let's do feed then exhume the feed and then double tap it. Beautiful. All right. Here I got uh, Clothline Cleaver Evolve. I don't have a lot of AoE damage, so it'll Cleave is interesting. And again, I'm offered an Evolve that I don't really need. All right. Here I got the Acid Slime. I could just defend with the Impervious, right? Yeah, let's keep it simple. I should have played the um, the um, Cold... Uh, cold. Wait, what's the card I played? Cold Cool Headed. I should have played that first. Um, here I can do Rainbow or Fiendfire. Let's just do Fiendfire. Um, hang on, let me do Cleave and then Fiendfire. Okay. 
right, so I'll be weakened, but I should be able to easily transform. Actually, I can do something like Meteor Strike. They'll give me energy back and then kill. Wait, let me not kill with the Bludgeon because there's a chance I might be able to play the Feed. I would like to. I mean, if I can, I should try to, right? Um, I can do Corruption. Uh, wait, how do I do this? Uh, let's do Corruption, and then I think because I am weakened, I have to double tap the Feed. I didn't get the double tap. All right. Um, what if I... Yeah, I can't even do Feed Exhume. Let's do Offering. Hope I can get a little bit of damage out. Uh, ghostly Armor. Electrodynamics. Okay. And then I can do Feed. Oh, but then the Orb will kill next turn. Fine, fine. All right. Still got a little bit of max HP out of that. Cool-headed Streamline Combust. I already have this. Between these two, again, not a huge fan, so I think I'll skip this. And then here... Um, Doom Sentinel Core Surge. I guess I can do... I can't even kill anything, right? Um, here, let's do... Let's kill one of the Mad Gremlins by exhuming the Core Surge. Okay, that way I also won't be weakened. And I, I have to rest at the next rest site, so I'm okay losing some HP here. I don't think it's a big deal. Um, here, let's do Cleave. And then Pummel is enough to kill the back banner, thanks to the boot. And, um, yeah, I think that's fine. I'll take another 4 damage. And then here, I will try to use the feat twice if I can. Okay, there's one feed. And then I can seek the Exhume. Um, and the, um, Double Tap. But then I don't have enough... Wait, do I not have an Exhume anymore? Oh, it must have been my discard pile. Let me grab the reboot, reboot then. Oh, no, I think I exhumed something else. Never mind. So I can't actually exhume anything. All right, in that case, let's just kill with, um, I don't know, something like uh, Fiendfire or uh, where is the... Well, I probably don't need Reaper. Let's just... Uh, here, Hyper Beam. Right, because I had... Yeah, exhume is in my uh, discard pile. Oh, uh, exhaust pile. Fine. All right, Barrage, Wild Strike, Cold Snap. Let's take the Cold Snap. Not a bad card. And then here, I'm resting back to full HP. Okay. All right, Slime Boss. Uh, well... It is tempting to start off with Corruption. Let's do that. Okay. I really hope I can get some damage in soon. Uh, let's do Reboot. Okay, there's Emulate. Exhume will give me another Reboot. I'm not sure about that. Uh, not a bad idea. Let's do Emulate for sure, then Reboot again. I should have done Brutality, actually. Oof. Okay, I can't play the Bludgeon. Now I'm a little worried because I basically have to draw the um, Buffer. I didn't get that. Um... Let's do a free rainbow, then offering. Okay, sort of need the buffer here. Very urgently, because I don't have enough damage. Uh, let's do turbo fission. Okay, impervious. Wow, that was that was close. I almost missed the perfect here. That would have been pretty bad for my score, because I'm pretty sure everybody else who got a high score got a nice imper or, uh, got a nice perfect on all the bosses. Um, here, I kind of want to do barricade. Is that weird? That might be a little weird. I'm not... Wait, am I attack next turn? I forget. I think Berserk is fine, though. I could also do Core Surge. Uh, let's do Core Surge Berserk. Kind of want to do Juggernaut. Yeah, fine. Let's do Juggernaut. No real reason to play anything else. I'll have to deal a bunch of damage. Okay, so now the enemy is transforming. I could seek... Actually, no. Amplify is my draw pile. How do I deal damage in this deck? Uh, Meteor Strike would be better if I had Energy, which I don't at the moment. Although I could grab the Sentinel. Yeah, let me grab the Sentinel... Um, and the Meteor Strike, okay. Play that to gain energy. The new Meteor Strike. Oh, now I'm transforming at not the best value, actually. That might have been a mistake. I could do Multicast to gain a lot of energy. And then I can play everything like Echo Form, Capacitor, Loop, and Buffer. So the Buffer will help, but is it enough? Okay, Backland is attacking. I got the Feed there. Hyper Beam is pretty good. Yeah, I think I have to do Hyper Beam, right? Let's do Hyper Beam. Try to drink the Strength Potion. I need 32, and I almost enough. Let's drink one Strength Potion, then I can do Hyper... Oh, right. I forgot about the um, uh, Echo Form there. So I can actually kill with a Feed here. And then, uh, did I still have an Exhume in my draw pile? No, I think I exhausted it, right? I needed to get something back. Fine, in that case, let's kill with the Cleave. All right. I'm not even sure if I needed the Strength Potion, but I'm good. All good. Perfected everything. And I got a Distal Chaos Potion instead, which I would have removed the Strength Potion for to take it. So I think it's all fine. And then here I have to skip this to continue to go for Handlander. Sneko is really tempting. I have a lot of high cost cards. Let me sort by cost real quick. So I have, uh, what is it? Seven zero cost cards. And then more than one cost, you have one, two, three, plus three, so 18. Yeah, and I think it's definitely worth it. Um, 
I don't think I need Macro Pain or Astrolabe. Let's take the Snake Eye at the start of your turn, draw two additional cards, start each combat confused. It also makes the Meteor Strike much more powerful because I can actually now play it, and it is guaranteed to give me a bunch of energy back. So I think that might have just become my favorite card in this deck. Well, with Sneko. All right, a right side doesn't have two leads, so I have to get to this. Actually, wait, there's only one two lead path. Yeah, on the left. Okay. All right, so that path uh, starts off um, here with an early shop and one question mark room. And then after that, I get a later shop and another two question mark rooms. So only three question mark rooms total, which is a little low. But at least I'll have plenty of blocks, uh, plenty of um, shops, I mean. All right, let's start up with Hyper Beam, all for one, the Hyper Beam again. And then let's do Ghostly Armor to be fully defended and wait. Okay. Mm -hmm. I still have to use the feed one more time. That should be pretty easy to arrange. Let's do Juggernaut and Cool Headed. That way I'll deal five damage every turn. And the Corruption is great. Should I do Offering? Let's do that. And then Meteor Strike. Beautiful. Okay. And then I can... Actually, no, I can't kill with... Let's do Cold Snap. And uh, actually, no, my Juggernaut doesn't trigger because I have negative six focus. Uh, let's do Fission then. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'll do Berserk Cleef. And yeah, fine, I'll wait. Come. Okay. Still have a chance of playing the feed if I draw it. Yeah, I can seek the feed. Beautiful. Alright, so I already have enough max HP. Got an attack potion, which hmm, I probably need more than Liquid Bronze. Doom and Gloom, Compile Driver, Sword Boomerang. This is nice AoE damage, and it might allow me to get overkill, which I have to try to get at some point oh this is great preserved insect enemies in lead combats have 25 percent less hp i could also take medical kit and play status cards cannot be played whenever you play a status card exhausted not super necessary but fine and in terms of cards i already have this and this heat sinks might allow me to get combo let's take it um also charge battery hand of greed is a little expensive i would have to use it 10 times to to pay for itself that might be a little too much it is a good attack card though Fine, let's take it. I was going to say, I also have another shop coming up, but I hopefully, by that point, will be able to accumulate some more gold. Here is... I didn't get my third curse, but I did get Frozen Egg. Whenever you add a power card into your deck, upgrade it. Come. Okay. Here I got the Shell Parasite. Uh, starting off with the feed is unfortunate. I could still play it to bring it back with the Exhum later. Yeah, let's do... Um, let's do Hand of Greed first. And then I can't defend, which is fine. Let's do Hand of Greed, Feed, and Cleave. Come. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another 18. Um, I can... Uh, he seems expensive. I can do Doom and Gloom Cool-Headed. Then all for one. That will bring me back the Cool-Headed. Okay. And then Doom and Gloom again. And I can even do Reaper to heal back up a little. Okay. All right. Another 10. Yeah, Meteor Strike is not enough to kill. Oh, no, it is enough with the Dark Orb. Fine. All right. Barrage, Wall Strike, or Static Discharge. I am not a fan of any of those. Let's skip this. And then I have to go on the right for the two lead path. Almost missed that. All right, starting off, look at this hand. So barricade corruption. And then, unfortunately, I'm going to take some damage. But I think that's fine. I can do bludgeon here. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, another 10 incoming. Electrodynamics is great. Uh, let's do sentinel hyper beam. Makes me lose the focus, which is kind of nice. Um, can I... Uh, wait, how do I... Trying to use the feed against the bird, but I would have to get it to the ground. What if I seek something like Pummel, which will deal 20... Oh, no, Pummel will kill, I think. I don't have anything else that has multi-hits, right? Yeah, Pummel will kill. In that case, let me not grab the feed. Yeah, let's save it for later. Um, I had Barricade active, right? Yeah, let's grab the Impervious then. All right, Pummel kills this one. I can do Impervious. Core Search, Hyper Beam, Machine Learning, and wait. Income. So there's still a chance to draw the feed on time. Meteor Strike will kill. I mean, I don't need to wait for the feed. Let's just kill here. Come. Okay. All right. No troubles there. Flex, Twin Strike, or Reckless Charge. I don't know. Uh, maybe Twin Strike. I... Not, not really. No, again, I don't need to pick up every card. I already have 46. So let's skip the ones that are not super urgently necessary. No chance of defending against this one, right? Let's do Ghostly Armor and then see what the Distal Chaos plays. Hopefully some block card. Um, No. Yeah, I don't I, I don't think there's anything I could do. I guess I don't know if the attack potion would have given me something amazing, so I, I don't think I'll worry about that. Let's do heat sinks. If I can't perfect this one, should I try to at least um get uh what do you call it? I didn't play the corruption, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna try to get um the combo modifier because I have heat sinks active, right? 
and the, the first card I played each turn, I play each turn will be played twice. So let's double tap the turbo. So that's two, um, then three, four. Seek is expensive. Five. Uh, let's take this and this. Okay. So then six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Eleven, twelve. I don't think there's much I can do. 13, I mean, this is free. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, pummel kills, that's fine. Yeah, it's a shame. I wasn't able to get uh, the perfect on this one. We got Smiling Master, the Merchant Card Room Service. Now always costs 50 gold. And upgraded heat sinks. You know what? I think I'll take it. And then we'll remove it in Act 3 if I can. I should sort of do Z again. Uh, remove it in Act 3, but hopefully with the regular heat sinks and an upgraded one, this should allow me to get combo. Um, and then, yeah, going left here. Okay, perfect. So here I'm going to try to get combo if I can, which means I have to make sure I play something like Echo Form. Uh, cool Head, it doesn't hurt. Uh, Juggernaut might deal a little bit too much damage, so let's wait. I also don't want to play too many powers until I have my heat sinks ready. All right, no one is attacking me here. Corruption is really good to have as well. And there is the Creative AI, which I need to play. I sh probably should have double played the Creative AI. That was silly. I forgot about the Echo Form. Yeah, that was a mistake. Um... And then again, I will save my uh, my powers until I have the um, the heat sinks. Anything I need to exhume? I guess I could exhume the um, offering again. Okay. All right. I don't think I need limit break. Let's do doom and gloom to deal some damage. Okay. Could have done hyper beam. I guess I had the uh, ar artifact. Mm -hmm. All right. Sixteen. Uh, okay. There's one heat sinks. That's good. And it's played twice. Nice. And then let's do cold snap. Um, I could have done multicast with the cold sub, right? Uh, let's do multicast now to be fully defended. Uh, no, not fully defended, but, you know, almost fully defended. Meteor Strike would be another good thing to play there. Okay, I would love to wait for another Heat Sinks. Uh, let me double play the Sentinel. Okay. A new Barricade. And there's another Heat Sinks. Okay. Um, because I have the Barricade active, I would play Ghostly Armor and Impervious. Double tap the Emulate. Sure. Okay. All right. So now, uh, next turn, as long as I get enough uh, powers, I will try to get combo. I did get Seek. That's kind of nice. Um, I also have Amplify, which is good. I could Amplify some... I could play Amplify first to gain extra energy. Yeah, let's do Amplify. So that's one, two. Then uh, let's free up my hand. So three, four, five. Oh, no. That almost killed. Okay. Okay. Uh, six, seven, eight. Then, um, I'm running out of energy, right? I can't play the all for one. Uh, let's do, I have to free up my hand before I play the seek. Let's do nine, ten, eleven. Uh, I don't have an offering. I don't, well, actually I have turbo. Um, I had eleven, right? Eleven and, uh, I don't know. Let's grab, close up doesn't work, right? Let's grab brutality. Uh, then 12. Um, then 13. Should I play something else? Let's do 13 here. Then 14. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't get enough. 15. 16. 17. Ah, this kills already. That's a bummer. I got close. I'm pretty sure this was the fight to try to get combo. And I missed it. Got a duplication potion, human kinesis, recursion, or sweeping beam. Sweeping beam is nice for the card draw. Alright, then here I got the Gremlin leader which is attacking me. I do have Hyper Beam offering. Lots of good cards here. Let's do Juggernaut, Ghostly Armor, then Cleave. I kind of want to do Offering because I'm hoping to gain um, some sort of block. I didn't. Um, Rainbow will give me five. That's still not quite enough. Um, I could duplicate it. That would be enough, right? Just to be safe, let's do that. Okay. Yeah, that way I have plenty of block, and then I can double pad the hyper, hyper beam. Okay. And uh, I guess that's it. All right. That was not a bad turn. Okay. All right. Here, should I try to get combo again? Um, I can do heat sinks and then seek another heat sinks. Um, the other one, where is it? Echo form would have also been great to play. And then maybe something I don't really need because I won't have the energy to play it. What about a reboot? Yeah, so another Heat Sinks. Legend kills, right? You know what? I'll, I think I'll just wait. So there is a small chance I might get combo here. Um, I can amplify the Echo Form. 
but then I can't kill the minion. So I think instead, let's just not amplify the, amplify the echo form. Let's just do echo form. I do creative AI. Yeah, I think I'm going to do creative AI and then emulate. Oh, um, uh oh. I messed up. I messed up here. I didn't realize that it was not even going to be enough. Fine, fine. Let me not risk it and just kill the backliner. I wasted a potion here. I should have just targeted the backliner from the in the first place. I'm sure I'll get combat at some point. Hopefully, we got Art of War. You do not play any attacks during your turn. Get additional energy next turn. FTL is fine. It's card draw. Let's take it. Although, with Sneko, it might not be that great. We got Red Skull. While your HP is at or below 50%, you have three additional strength. So, I would like to lose some more HP if I can. This might be a perfect fight to lose HP in. Uh, I mean, you know what? I'm going to try this again. Let's do Heat Sinks. Hand of Greed. Fiend Fire. Come. So, one Heat Sinks is already played. Um, here I got Corruption, Echo Form, and I wanted to lose HP anyway, although I guess I can do Impervious. Uh, let's do Impervious, and then I can exhume, uh, what, nothing super necessarily. Yeah, yeah, let's just move on here. Okay. Not being attacked here again. I'm waiting, yeah, there's the other Heat Sinks here. Let's do Heat Sinks. Okay. And then I can amplify the buffer, but let me free up my hand first a little bit. Let's seek. Um, I don't have any. Actually, Meteor Strike, but I don't have enough energy to play it now, right? Uh, wait, do I have Turbo? I don't. I do have the Sentinel. Let's do Sentinel and Meteor Strike. This won't kill yet. Yeah, let's do Sentinel and Meteor Strike to gain energy back. Okay. Then I'm going to amplify the buffer. I forgot to count cards. All right, fine. Let's do Creative AI and wait. Yeah, there's the Offering. Okay. Still need, need to lose HP, and I still have two buffers. Come. Okay. All right, there's Barricade, which I don't need to play twice. I think instead I'll play the Cool Headed twice. Come. Okay. Then do Barricade. And uh, I think I'll wait again. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm fully defended. It's very hard to lose HP here, and I'm not being attacked again. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, you know what? I, uh, I'm too impatient to wait here. Let's just kill with the feed. All right. Okay, we've got a Power Potion, Evolve, Compile Driver, Dual Wheel. Dual Wheel is interesting. I do have some good attacks and powers that could be very cheap. Mind Plus is very tempting. Let's buy the Relics first. So we got Orange Pellets. Whenever you play a power attack and skill in the same turn, re remove all of your debuffs, which is great. Mercury Hourglass at the start of your turn, deal 3 damage to all enemies. And Nunchaku every time you play 10 attacks and extra energy. Let's also grab the Uppercut because I have the Paper Frog, right? And Clothline. Let's also grab the Mind Blast. Uh, Bloodletting is not a bad idea. I don't know about Recycle. Yeah, and in terms of potions, do I want... I think I'll grab the Energy Potion because it might help me in a pinch. There's also the Transportation, but actually that might give me combo too. But no, I think I'll, I'll save it for later. Here, I can lose some HP to gain the Necronomic Curse. The first attack later turn that costs two or more is play twice. I'm pick up obtain the Special Curse. So that gives me my third unique curse, right? Injury, Necronomic Curse, and what was the other one? Doubt. Okay, so I need two more curses on Act 3. Ideally, two unique curses. Um, I clicked on this too quickly. I actually don't think there's anything I want to remove, and I definitely want to save the gold. So let me reload this real, real quick. For some reason, I got super excited. No, I don't want to remove anything. Let's move on. Come. Okay. All right, Shield Parasite, Fungi Beast. My plus is 48. That's not a lot, but, you know, it, it gets there. Let's do Barricade, Bloodletting. Then, uh, yeah, let's do my Blast. I can do, I guess, Rainbow is 5, Charge Battery is 7, Lock. Let's do Rainbow. It also deals some damage on the side. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, uh, here, bludgeon is a lot, but not quite enough. I can actually look at that. I can amplify the heat sinks and then play another heat sinks. That way I'll have five heat sinks ready, and I think I'll save everything else for later. I will also drop down to less than uh, half HP to trigger the Red Skull, and let me see if I can uh, maybe try to get combo with five heat sinks active. Mm, okay, I might have to do creative AI first. All right, and then uh, let's do machine learning. All right, let's do FTL, kill some backline, but then I'll take too much damage. Okay. Well, I wanted to lose HP. I am definitely losing HP here. Okay. So, um, I can play the turbo. Let's do cold snap. That kills the backliner, right? Fine. No, uh, let's do fission first. That way I don't kill the backliner. Then do cold snap. Okay, now I'm starting to get a little worried. Let's do loop. All right, there's a meteor strike, which unfortunately I cannot play. Let's do reboot. I also forgot to count cards. Um, all right, Berserk gives me more card draw. Um, there is a Corruption. I can play the Charge Battery. 
then uh, seek there's still an offering in my drop all right let's grab offering and exhume i really should have counted cards okay i lost track uh let's do offering and double play the doom and gloom actually let me do sentinel first Okay, so I feel like, let me assume that's my eighth card. So I feel like that will, that will say it. I just came up with a number, but you know. So then let's do Doom and Gloom twice. Okay. All right. And then I have to be careful not to evoke the Dark Orb. That will kill. So I think that's 9, 10. So let's exhume the offering again. It's 11. Then uh, 12. Okay. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I'm almost dead, actually. I have to be careful. Um, 18, uh, then 19, 20, that kills. Okay, so if I calculate correctly, then this should be my 20th card. I hope I calculate that correctly. All right, fine. We've got a speed potion, which I don't think I'll take. Heavy Blade, Sunder, or go for the ice. Um, I mean, I'm not, uh, Sunder is not a bad idea with the Sneko. I don't think I have a lot of strength for Heavy Blade. Let's take the Sunder. And then here, right, I have to rest. So good thing I had dropped down so little in terms of HP. So I still am triggering the Red Skull. All right, so a free Mind Blast, that's always nice. Um, actually, I don't have a high-cost card, so uh, can't really trigger the Necronomicon. Uh, let's do Mind Blast, Pummel, Doom and Gloom. I'll do Brutality. And let me play the Ghostly Armor to not lose it. Okay. I should have drank, drank the Strength Potion here. Let me see if I can actually... Might have trouble defending here. I do have a Power Potion and a, and a Energy Potion. Let's do heat sinks first. Another heat sinks. I don't know. Does cool edit save me here? Let me see what the power potion gives me. Creative AI, Hello World, or Brutality. Let's say Creative AI. Mm, I'm not sure what I was looking for. I guess a buffer. There's nothing I can do, right? Absolutely nothing. Um. I I'm trying to think if so. Weakness would have brought it down to twelve. Rainbow. No, I I, I don't I don't think there's anything I can I could have done. Let me reload real quick and see if there is a way. Um, honestly, I can't think of anything. I needed some of my... Well, actually, honestly, I have no idea what I needed. Um, so here, I think this was still the right path. I should have drank the Strength Potion earlier, but I don't think that makes a big difference. Yeah, this is, I think, correct. There's nothing that there's nothing else I can do on turn one. Maybe drink the Power Potion first. I'm, that is obviously an, an option. What if I drink it now? Does that make a difference? Not really, no. So maybe I'll ignore the heat sinks, but then still I cannot defend at all. So the best I can do is clothesline twice. That's still 12 incoming, and then even if I do rainbow, it's only 5 block. I mean, I, I should do rainbow, right? I, I don't really have a choice. Well, I can't think of anything better. But yeah, no, there's nothing I can do here, unfortunately. Yeah, that's a bummer. Um, I'm pretty sure it is possible to protect the Act 2 boss. I just, um, you know, got some bad draws. Oh, and I forgot that with the, um, people might have noticed, with the, um, uh, orange pellets, I removed the, uh, you know, I guess bad thing of Sneko Eye, which might have not been the best thing to do, but fine. All right, so here, I guess I can amplify a power or dual wield something, double tap emulate. I'm not sure. Let's do reboot here, see what I get. Yeah, corruption is much better. Okay. All right, since I'm already not perfecting this one, maybe I'll try to play the heat sinks after all, try to get combo. Uh, let's do Limit Break. Uh, do I want to dual wield anything? Not really. I guess I can, I can do Reaper. I have to be a little careful not to lose too much HP. Yeah, let's do Reaper here. It is played twice, which heals me back a little. Makes me lose uh, strength because of Red Skull. And then I guess I can do Fire Breathing as well. Come. Mm -hmm. Getting a lot of debuffs. Let me see if I can remove them by playing a Power, Attack, and Skill in the same turn. Um... Let's do, I think I'll do, it's more important to do Barricade and Impervious. Cool-headed. Oh, I wanted to keep the Dark Orb, huh? Um, here, let's grab another Impervious. Okay. That way I should have plenty of block for some time. Mm -hmm. Alright, not being attacked here. I can do Juggernaut, Sentinel, Bloodletting. Okay. And then uh, let's do Bludgeon. It's played twice. Get rid of the rebuff, uh, debuff, I mean. And then I can amplify the Berserk because I'm guaranteed not to be attacked for two turns. And then multicast to get more block. Okay, yeah, I think I should be fine. Oh, and Juggernaut dealt a bunch of damage there. Okay. I'm not sure about the Fragment. Um, there's a Fiendfire. I can just play that. 
No, let's do echo form. Um, offering. Should I do core search first? Let's do core search and offering. Hoping to get some of my heat sinks place here. Um, yeah, let's do. Actually, I can seek another heat sinks, right? Let's seek the other heat sinks, and then something like charge battery. Okay. All right. So then, hopefully, next turn I can go crazy. I also have plenty of box, so hopefully, next turn I can try to at least get combo out of this fight. I'm also wasting a little bit of time trying to get combo here, right? There's meteor strike that gives me energy back. Let's play that twice. Okay. Mm hmm. So that's one, two cards played already. Uh, was that played three times? Oh, right, because of Echo Form. Okay, so that's three cards played. Then four, five, uh, six, okay, seven. That's another meter strike. I can't really do that. Eight, all right. Uh, this will kill two, right? So let's do nine, ten, eleven, uh, twelve. Yeah, not even close. Uh, wait, let me try 13, I guess, uh, this. Okay. Yeah, no, nothing I can do. All right, fine. At least I got gold out of it. All right. Limit Break, Berserk, or Juggernaut. Can't take any of these because of Highlander. And then here, Unique Curse number four, Calling Bell. I can pick up between Unique Curse and three Relics. Blackstar would have been nice, but there is a high chance I might be able to pull off Curses and Highlander. We got Curse of the Bell as well as Potion Belt. I can pick up, gain two Potion Slots. Eternal Feather for every five cards in your deck, heal three, shoot one of you into a rest site. And Magic Flower Healing is 50% more effective during combat. Okay. And I also need to remove a card at the shop, right? So I have to make sure that there's a shop on my hopefully two lead path. Yeah, there's a two lead path on the left, none on the right. If I start here, I'll get four early, four early question mark rooms, and then a shop, and then another fifth question mark room. If I go on the left, I'll get one, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think it's better to go in the middle and then turn right, or stay, stick on the right. Okay, that also increases the chance I have more question mark rooms early on. Increases the chance of me being able to get the uh, normality event. All right, let's start off with the free demon form, the rainbow ghostly armor and then i think i'll kill the spiker with the mind blast and then just wait okay should i just get overkill here and wait for the dark orb to grow that might not be a bad idea um yeah let's do uppercut here to kill the backliner okay i'll do berserk let's try that i'll get rid of overkill and i don't have to worry about that um although wait no never mind i forgot about the uh, mercury glass i think that will kill too quickly let's just kill here okay all right, we got Elixir Potion, which I probably don't really need, but I'll take for now. Capacitor is interesting. I don't think I need Melter. Let's do the Capacitor. Who's my final boss, by the way? Don't know, Deck. Okay, luckily it's not the Awakened one. That would have been a problem with all the, um, all the uh, what do you call it, powers that I have. So really hoping to get a curse here, but I got uh, 300 gold instead. Still have two more or three more question mark rooms coming up. Okay, got a regular fight here with the Orb Walker. Um, my plus is fine. Let's start off with Meteor Strike first. Um, and yeah, let's do Might Plus next, FTL twice, and then I can kill with the feed. Good. I also have to lose HP to trigger the Red Skull at some point, right? Body Slam, Pummel Strike, Armaments. This might actually allow me to get overkill if I accumulate a lot of, uh, block. So let's try that. And then here, let's double play the Echo Form and then do Might Blast. Or, sorry, other way around. Play the Echo Form and double play the Might Blast. Okay. 37, uh, let's do, uh, Corruption twice. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's do Corruption and then Fiend Fire. Ooh, is that not enough? I should have done the... Uh... Wow, I did not realize that was not going to be enough. Okay, taking some damage, which is fine. Maybe I do want to lose HP here with the Red Skull. Yeah, let's try that. Um, so, anything I need to exhume? No, let's just do Demon Form. Actually, here, I'll do Heat Sinks twice. Who knows, maybe I can get Combo out of the way too. Mm -hmm. All right, so here, let's double play the Creative AI. Okay, I can do Hand of Greed twice, okay, that way I'll still take some damage, but not too much, so I'll trigger the Red Skull, okay, and then here I can do, uh, what, a Cold Snap twice, Bloodletting, Feed, okay, it looks like I'm going to take damage whether I like it or not, uh, no, Sentinel Offering, okay, Double Tap Buffer, okay, uh, Impervious, Cleave. I should have counted cards again. I lost track. Let's assume it's 10. Um, then Seek the uh, up... No, Heat Sinks and Capacitor. Powers, Heat Sinks. So, wait. That, that should be 11 and 12, hopefully. 13. Um, 14. 15, 16. 
Um, I, the only power I have, well, this is cheaper, 17. Uh, let's do 18. Okay, this gives me, no, it doesn't give me energy back, so 19. Okay, I hope if I calculate correctly that I would have been able to, I would have played, actually, I got energy back. Okay, let's play a few more cards here. All right, I think this should be enough for combo. I feel like I played more than 20 cards, so I'm not going to worry about combo anymore. So I'll have to get overkill, though. Feel No Pain is really good. I definitely want to take that. And then here, I'm probably okay losing Capacitor. I don't think it's super urgently necessary. And then I have to go on the right, right? Okay. All right, got the Nemesis here. Uh, double play the Mind Blast. That's actually not enough to kill, and I would run out of energy. Let me do Machine Learning first and Offering. That also makes the Mind Blast weaker, though. Well, I still have to come up with some block or figure out a way to defend. I do have the buffer. Ah, that's not enough. What do I do here? Let me see what the colorless potion gives me. Another mind blast. That would be enough, I think, right? Yeah, so I can double play this one and then single play this one. Beautiful. All right, perfect. This one, we got oddly smooth stone surge. Come with one dexterity. Skim might be really good. Let's take it. Okay. And then here, unfortunately, I have to heal back to full, which means I'm going to lose my uh, Red Skull bonus. Um, hopefully, hopefully, I'll be able to get that back maybe in this fight. All right, uh, so here, let's do Might Blast twice to kill the Backliner. And then I think I'll just let the Exploder explode on me and, uh, yeah, lose HP that way. I need to drop down to, what, 60 HP? Less than 60 because I heal back up. Um, I already got... Uh, yeah, let's play... Actually, should I... You know what? I think I'm going to try to get Overkill on this side as well. So let me grab the Doom and Gloom. And, um, I don't know, feel no pain, sure. Uh, Doom and Gloom is played twice, that's fine. Okay. Oh, I... Okay, fine. So, the Explorer is not going to explode, but I'm pretty sure the Spiker... Oh, no. I keep forgetting about the Mercury Hourglass. That will kill too quickly. Fine, fine. Let's just kill with the Hyper Beam here. All right. Okay, and Flame Sunder Skim. I already have these two. I don't know if I need a Flame. I already have 60 cards. I got Pendip. Every 10th attack you play deals double damage. Okay, that makes Overkill much easier. I'll just wait for uh, the uh, Mind Blast to be ready with it. Here I can, I have to, actually I got combo, right? So I can easily remove the unupgraded heat sinks. Let's do that. And then let's buy, I don't think I need Prismatic Shard. Let's take Blood, blood Vial at the start of each combat, heal 2 HP. I can be cure your first attack, each combat deals 8 additional damage. Let's take Dark Embrace, which is great. I already have this. Power Throw is great. Rip and Tear. Dark Shackles is pretty good. Let's take the Transportation as well. And then I can buy the Potions as well. You know what? Should I take Prismatic Shard? I guess there's no harm in that. Prismatic Shard, Combat Reward Skins cannot contain colors, cards, and cards from other colors. And yeah, I think I spent all the gold I could, pretty much. And then here, let's see. Well, I already have a Mind Blast, right? I don't know about any of those. Direct Entrance, maybe. The Bomb is fine. Let's take the Bomb here. Here, I'm not sure. Forethought, not really, right? Flash of Steel for card draw. I don't know. I guess Dramatic Entrance, sure. I really wanted another curse, but I got Happy Flower in instead. Every three turns, get extra energy. Now, I mean, I could skip. Well, there's a small chance I might get the right of math in the last fight. That's definitely possible. Um, all right. Uh, the pendant is not ready yet, but I can do something like dramatic. Uh, well, I could be good. Do I want to do something else with it? No, let's do dramatic entrance and mind blast. Actually, let me see if I can play enough cards with the mind blast to deal more than 100 damage. That seems unlikely, right? Fine, fine. I'm sure I'll be able to trigger it with overkill at some point. Alright, still not being attacked. Good. Um, let's do... I guess I can play the feet twice. Um, uh, yeah, let's do feet twice, then Pummel and Reaper, I guess. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, 13 incoming. Um, there is a Seek, but it's super expensive. Um, I think I'll do Offering first. And even Seek the Corruption, right? Um... This is not good. Uh, let me do Fission. I do have an Energy Potion, but Dark Embrace. Wow. All right. Let's do Dark Embrace and then get rid of uh, all of these, I guess. Really hope I got something better. No. No, nothing I can do against 13. Let me try the... Should I do Berserk? No. Let's try the Sneko Potion as well. Okay. It set the FTL to zero. The Uppercut with double damage to zero. Okay. And then Sweeping Beam. Nothing I can do, right? Wait, what if I do... Actually, no, there is something I can do. I can drink the Energy Potion, then do Charge Battery, and I can also do Feel No Pain. Wow, all right, all right. That was that was a close one. The Uppercut being free really helped. All my potions actually helped there. All right, and then here, let's Amplify. I would still like to play a few attacks, uh, but just to be safe, let's Amplify the Buffer. Okay. 
I'll do core surge and wait. All right. So yeah, I'm hoping to play enough attacks so that... Actually, I do have a regular fight after this, so maybe I can trigger the double damage there. Um, I don't have enough energy for the meteor strike. I can just kill with the fiend fire, I think. Okay. All right. No troubles. Well, I had to use three potions, but perfect that one. We got ceramic fisherman. We add a card to deck, gain nine gold. Armaments, talk to the end hold. Armaments is not a bad idea. And then here, I do want to lose HP. Um, let's start with the meteor strike on you first. Okay. And then, I mean, my plus kills one of them. Yeah, the spike. Here, let's kill this one with my plus, and then I also will try to get overkill. What if I just try to get overkill next turn? Yeah, so if I can get penned up to nine, I should be fine, right? So it's a dramatic entrance. Clothesline. Okay, so I have one more attack to play. I could have played the uh, reboot there. I also want to lose HP to trigger the Red Skull. Actually, I want to lose a lot of HP if I can. Uh, let's do Corruption. Um, how do I deal damage without actually playing attacks? Let's do upper or, uh, Rainbow. Then Heat Sinks. Um, I should have dealt with the Heat Sinks, huh? Another Rainbow. Come. Okay. Alright, I guess I'll just wait. Come. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, so here, let's do Feel No Pain Sentinel. Then Dark Embrace is pretty good. I can do Bloodletting Offering. Okay. And then Fission. Um, actually, can I just get Overkill with a Body Slam? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's do that. So I'll do Feed to kill this one. And then Body Slam with double damage to get Overkill. Okay. All right, we've got an Ancient Potion. Evaluate for Thought of Wally Plants. Um... I, I guess Wally Plants is not a bad idea. Let's take that. And then, unfortunately, I didn't get enough curses. Um, so, yeah, I ended up stuck with only four. Okay, so, uh, wow. This is a bad hand. This is a really bad hand. Let me play the Distal Chaos and hope for the best. Cool-headed Echo Form Transportation. Okay, hang on. Um, so, Madness hits the Sunder. Then Jack of all trades, finesse. Yeah, I I just got really unlucky here again. It looks like, right? Um, I guess I can do sweeping beam twice and hope for the best here. Yeah, the best I, I got is the sentinel, which is only twelve block. Um, nothing else I can do, right? Wow, I got I got a little unlucky on uh, both the act two and act three bosses. My deck is kind of large, though, so maybe by keeping a thinner deck, I would have had slightly more success. Um, but yeah, still a little frustrating. And I thought this was a, a great run. It was just going to be a great run. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, yeah, let's get through this. I already got overkill combo, right? So I don't know if I need to play anything else. Uh, so maybe I'll just try to kill quickly. I really hope I do actually have combo. Double play the or yeah, double play the meter strike in energy, then dark embrace, hyper beam. All right, I can do. Upgrade everything, uppercut, then fiend fire or no limit break's not that powerful. Let's fiend fire here, okay. And then I can do uh, FTL charge battery skim, uh, berserk. Yeah, you know what? I can play it. Um, and then let's do electrodynamics. Although I don't have any focus, ghostly armor. Kill this one with the body slam and uh, bias cognition. Oh, I thought I didn't have focus. Never mind. I had plenty of focus. All right, and then here, Corruption is pretty good. Uh, let's do Dark Shackles, Feel No Pain, then Corruption. Okay. Bloodletting, Buffer, Double Tap, Speed. Thinking ahead, I'm just playing random cards. Yeah, at this point, again, I, I lost my perfect. Nothing I can do to really bring that back. So might as well just play spam a bunch of cards. There's a barricade too, which is nice. Also, would be kind of funny if I hadn't gotten a combo yet, and this is the turn I get combo. Let's try that. Um, so I'm going to bring back the Seek, which is going to get me a Impervious. All right. Skim. Fission. Bludgeon. I should have played the Meteor Strike. Would have been much better. Brutality. Sentinel. Oh, I got Overkill as well. Fine, fine. I'm pretty sure I got combo, though. Yeah, it's a shame. I don't think there's anything I could have done. I just got unlucky with the... Um, with the boss fights. Uh, so we ended up with 1261. That's not too bad. Out of the six elites, I perfected five. So I only missed, was it the, um, 
I forget, there was one where I... Oh, right, the Book of Stabbing. I just didn't have any chance against that. Also, only the Act 1 boss, which is disappointing. I got Overkill Combo, Raining Money. I missed the Curse Modifier. I only had four unique ones. I was able to at least get Highlander and Stuffed. Stuffed was fairly easy with the Feed. I like Shiny was easy too. So, yeah, 1261. Theoretically, 1411 would have been possible if I had perfected the other two bosses. And, yeah, 1411 would have put me in 19th place. Um, three points above Pelts, which is strange. Indicates different RNG. So, Shadow was able to get another... Uh, 29 points more than I would have been able to get if I perfected all the um, all the bosses which might indicate that Shadow was able to play faster yeah but that's I mean it's a very uh, very impressive achievement to perfect all the bosses play faster I guess the only other thing I missed was um, I guess that one elite yeah with some luck I think maybe another 25 points on top of Shadow's point, uh, score would have been possible so 1465 yeah, and you see that after that it jumps up to 1567. So all of these are not using legit means to get that score. Uh, but yeah, so Shadow did really well. I did not do too well. Let me actually just for fun scroll to my score. Wow, 89th again. And here I thought I had a good day in front of me. All right, at least the run was fun. So I did enjoy that. But um, yeah, wow, I'm definitely not going to make it to 100 at the end of the day. Wow, I really, I don't know what's happening to me. I'm just not having a good run for like, what, almost a week now? Anyway, let me know in the comments what you did, if you had luck or if there's something else that was going on that allowed you to do so well. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Let's review the scores from yesterday. All right, so yesterday was a silent run with the specialized modifier that gave you five copies of Endless Agony, as well as Certain Future and Terminal. And uh, yeah, people were able to do really well. Also, because it's Certain Future, um, I think it's very easy to point out that Yavos is basically first place, ignoring the cheaters and glitchers. So Yavos ended up with 12,676, which is a great score. Yavos, I think, was the only one who tried to go for the Highlander modifier. I think that paid off. So he was able to get Highlander and Curses, which is really impressive. Perfected all the elites and all the bosses. Uh, got the Lightspeed modifier, 35 cards in Sigubdian. So yeah, really impressive impressive run from Yavos. Congratulations. And yeah, it looks like going for uh, Highlander was the right approach yesterday because nobody was really able to get more than two collective bonuses yesterday. Uh, then you have, so Yavos is basically first place. Second place, you have Tide, David, and Vorpal. David perfected all the elites and all the bosses, was able to get curses, went for collective bonuses, was able to get two of them. And also, most impressively, David was able to go for Popper, which is something that I didn't think was possible because I, I mean, I died without rare cards uh, and uh, I think rare cards would have been very useful. Um, but yeah, you can check out his Twitch stream if you're interested to see how he pulled it off. Then you have third place, uh, people tied at 1226, a uh, fourth place 1201, fifth place you have Goldberry with 1176, then sixth place you have people tied at 1151, including Quirkus, who I hadn't seen in a while, so glad to see him playing again. So Quirkus perfected all the elites and all the bosses. Uh, he actually mentioned that when he saw that it was the um, Guardian on Act 1, he took the well-laid plants and upgraded it, which allowed him to save some defensive cards, and that I think was a really smart play, I missed that. He also was able to get Curses, and uh, he definitely didn't get Popper because he relied a lot on the Wraith forms, which also with the Wild Plants was very useful to just keep until you need it. Um, now, because Quirkus mentioned he hadn't played in a while, he forgot to try to get Overkill Combo, so definitely could have gotten some points there. Uh, then I think this was 8th place with 12, 1126, uh, which includes Gemino. So Gemino perfected everything, uh, missed the Necronomicon event though, so wasn't able to get the Curse modifier. Also ended up with two collective bonuses and got combo with all the Endless Agonies as well as Shiv cards. Uh, he also missed the Popper modifier. He mentioned that the Aftermage was very important, which, uh, yeah, I should have realized that I needed some sort of rare cards to save me. And he also was able to get the uh, Lightspeed modifier, which doesn't happen often, so congratulations. Uh, then I think this will be 9th place. You have people tied with pelts at 11 to 1. 10th place, you have Ichu with 1076. Uh, then 11th place, you have Grimgoth and Wonder Monkey tied at 1051. Wait, is that 11th place? Did I skip something? No, 1076. Right, I thought I said 11. Yeah. So 1051, uh, Grimgoth was able to perfect uh, all everything but one elite and the Ag 1 boss. Uh, so that definitely cost him some points. He was able to get one collect bonus and curses and Misty Popper modifier. He definitely relied on the Wraith form, like Wraith form, sorry, like others. He also took the Pure Runic Pyramid, which together with the Wraith form also makes things very easy. Um, so yeah, at least Grimgoth was able to survive. And also, not a bad finish there. I think that's it for top 100. Let me just for fun jump to my score. Yeah, I end up very low. I died to the um, Act 2 boss twice, actually. I uh, tried both times and nothing worked. I think taking red cards would have helped me, although David showed that you didn't really, you didn't really need them. Um, I also noticed that a lot of people got do it all before the Act 2 boss fight, and I already had on my first run five curses, on my second run four curses by the time I got to the Act 2 boss. So having the extra strength would have been very helpful. I'm not sure why I didn't get that relic, because with certain future, you'd expect the RNG to be the same for everything. So so, yeah, I just missed that. Um, I should mention that Malzan got a winning score, unfortunately slightly lower score with 851. Malzan had a pretty good Act 3, but had a pretty bad Act 1 and 2. 
He didn't get the curses. He was offered the normality event and rejected them because then I think his Act 3 would have been very tough. Uh, he also only got one collector bonus. Um, so yeah, just missed a few points there. And then Shadow, another person who died like me, although Shadow at least made it to Act 3. Um, so yeah, Shadow pointed out that there's just a bunch of bad dailies in a row. Uh, he also, I should mention, Shadow picked up the setup, uh, which he mentioned was uh, bad in retrospect. And Malzan mentioned that too. He also had setup and that ended up not being super useful. Uh, but yeah, at least Shadow was able to make up the uh, bad dailies in a row with a good score today, and I completely missed that. So anyway, let me know in the comments what you did for today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.